Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week three of the weekly highlight show for the Replay Me League, aka Match of the Day for the Mandem. I'm your boy Yanni, aka the Kid in the Green Coat, aka the Algerian Arrow. Why do they call me the Algerian Arrow? Because I'm straight to the point. aka Yasin Venga, you get the point. Uh, <laughs> joined uh, this week, uh, we are, of course, by Turkish, aka a football connoisseur, student of the game, and Beard Gang FC, just like me. Um, come on. Come on, G. Come on, Come please. On, G. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like that. It was a good intro. Um, we're going to have a fantastic week this week, I assure you. Um, but before we get into any of that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell on the notifications to make sure you know when we're dropping bits weekly, Wednesday bits, seven, or if Charlie's struggling with the edit, eight, you know what it is. Uh, and we'll be doing that on a weekly basis. Please uh, do that and like the video and get your comments in. Listen, it's week three of the weekly highlight show, and there's 20 goals. I'm telling you, all the games slap, especially our feature game. We're going to talk about that in a sec now, Turkish. But Turkish, you're the face of Relentless FC, the manager. A new team coming in. We'll be watching them shortly. That's all I've got to say. Um, how have you been enjoying the league from an outside perspective and now joining it? I've been enjoying it a lot, even down to the match of the day for the man. Then. That's a very good concept. I can't lie to you. Come on, G. Come on. So credit where it's due. Um, but yeah, first two weeks, I think I took a back seat. I came, I saw and I analysed. Mm. We entered in the third week. You know, we're going to see what's to come soon. But I'm happy. You know, there's pros and cons to starting late. You get to see other teams. You get to analyse, you know, the opposition. Mm. You get to see who really means business. I think early on, madness, unbeaten so far. You know, good name, good brand, good team, strong. Six points in the league so far. Yeah, so I think they're one to look out for. Uh, other teams, I think so far, up and down, you know, one week they can get banged, the other week they're banging someone else. So, you know what it is. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting for sure, but I'm looking forward to it. It is. It's an entertaining league. You can get bapsed 6 0 on any given Sunday. Please remember that. Listen, our feature game this week sees AFTV FC versus FC Infernos. Now, AFTV, they came in, did a boppers against Prospects FC. They beat them 5 1, so they were riding on a high versus Inferno, who couldn't really take another L. You can't take three Ls in a row, please. So in week three, FC Inferno really needed to win this game. Um, it got a bit hectic, this game, actually. Mm, mm, I was there. Got a bit fiery. I was there. Well, you know, it can happen. It can happen. Uh, handbags always happen on the pitch. It can happen on the side. But it didn't escalate. That's the main thing. There you, you know. Go. The integrity of the league remains. The integrity of the league does remain. Listen, let's go into our feature game right now. You don't want to miss this. AFTV versus a winless Infernos. Please, run it. Bash, week three of yes, the sir. Replay Me League. Restart um, Me League. We've had, we've had a couple of losses, but it's time to turn it around. The yeah. big game against AFTV. How do you feel about it? Uh, hopeful, hopeful. I think um, today we're going to try and make a better account of ourselves. Um, I think... The first two weeks, we're going to have to brush it under the rug and keep it moving. I think that's the only way we can, we can keep going. You had a great result last week in your debut in the Replay Me League. Um, what are you looking for for today? Same same performance, to be fair. Um, we played a good side. We um, started well. Uh, done a lot of, we watched a lot of them videos last week of them. Same thing we've done today. Um, so we just want to try and win as much games as possible. Good league, competitive, so, you know, bring it on. So what, one nil up, yeah? First time so far. There we go. First Nervous. time in three games. Oh, it feel good, didn't it? Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, what was that smart? Thank you. 
Listen to me, yeah? Hey, that goal means most... nothing. That last goal means nothing. Hey, hey, let's leave that. Hey, no, shut no, up, no, man. Listen. Address that first. <laughs> listen. It just shows you, yeah, that in this blink of an eye, we scored, and then in a blink of an eye, we conceded. And then it's like, we want to be punished. And then all of a sudden, 3 0, comfortable, half time team talk is completely different. I'm looking at, let's give some boys some minutes. Now I'm looking. Being sharp. And winning your 1v1s, yeah? The real gaffer. Hey, come on! I see the real gaffer, you know? That's the real gaffer. I like me, yeah? I like me. Just touch the ball down. Get into it. Get into it. What way are we going? Are you my nah, no jokes? Just trick the keeper. Get the keeper out. Boom, ding. Some of you look like the fucking piss. Fucking If you look think that's fucking good enough, you're wasting your time. Fucking wasting your time. We've done everything that we didn't do last week. Fucking give the ball away. Why, why all of a sudden we think we're fucking good players? Why are we over fucking playing? Why are we not fucking working hard? The fucking ball's gone over, two fucking centre arse, the ball's gone over straight through and fucking scored. That's the first shot the keeper's had. He's made fucking three good saves to keep us in the game. We fucking 5-1. And we've got no fucking bollocks. Hey, got no fucking bollocks. So some of you here think you're going to be playing next week. You can fuck off. Because if you think that's fucking good enough, you're fucking, you can fuck off now. Because that's not good enough. They're fucking shit. They got beat 5-1 last week. But the difference is they've fucking turned up. We've not fucking turned up. The good thing about it, we're still in the game. If we want to fucking win the game, we're still in the game. So I'm going to make some changes. Miles off. Miles off, boss. <laughs> it wasn't off, though, yeah? Nah, it wasn't. Referee! I rub it, Mr. Chuck. Abdul, what are you doing now? I might as well take it. That's fucking rubbish. <laughs> Abdul, put the ball in the thing. You've got to beat the first man. Abdul, Abdul, that's your man behind you. Abdul, that's forget, forget Abdul. Thank you. Abdul, drive, Abdul, drive now. Marcus, get away, Marcus, get away. Can you blame it? Can you blame it? Good way, good way. Not oh, 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 Help! 
Right, here we go to my left, Yoni to my right, Gaffer Bash. You came out after two L's and did the business. What changed? A lot changed. Uh, got a couple of OAPs in that got, got something between a nugget. And um, no, no, honestly, I think the boys just went out there, showed what they can actually do. Um, dominated the game, dominated possession, had about four or five one-on-ones that should have scored as well. I think we dominated that game and it just showed the quality that we do have. I think going to change the name, innit? Not replay me league, innit? It's a restart me league. Game week one from today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Yoni, you, you went out there, you lot played some good ball. Do you feel like after a shaky start that you could be one of the best teams in the league? I thought I, I thought we'd come into this as one of the contenders for this. First two weeks were a bit shaky and uh, yeah, now, now people know what we're about. First two weeks, everyone was thinking, yeah, these are the spank boys of the, of the league. No, like, we, got, we had to show levels today. We had to show levels still. My word, Infernos are finally off the board. Three points, a 3-1 win against AFTVFC, who in week one, or at least their, their first week, looked very strong, and now they got baps. It can happen in this league. Infernos could not afford to take three L's in a row. Uh, they come with big crowds, they make loads of noise, so you definitely just you don't want to be giving it and taking L's. But they managed to come out. It was actually really impressive from Infernos. Yeah, I can't lie, I'm surprised, you know, but it's needed. You know, the more L's that are flying around the league, the better. You know, Shut there's up. only a couple unbeaten teams in there, so you know what it is. But yeah, Infernos needed that win. You know, going three games in with three L's, it's, it's, it's not a good look. No. They've turned it around. I'd like to see how they build on that, you know. Um, obviously, we'll see who their next fixture is. But moving forward, I think the more L's, the better. <laughs> Just in the league in general? In the league in general. <laughs> as long as it's not your team. Trust me, anyway, listen, there's two unbeaten teams there. I've said it once, I'm going to say it again. Right, listen, uh, we're going to focus on just one play uh, from this game. There were a lot, but this has to be my favourite. Right, so Claudio, who was actually running things all game, we interviewed Yoni after the game, uh, he also had a great one. But Claudio, right here, is doing things that you only really see on Power League. Check this out. Here we go. Claudio gets mm. the ball off the rim. <laughs> mm. Please! That's too much, isn't it? Wow, but he doesn't yeah. score. Claudio, you need to finish them ones off because then it will pop off on the socials. But instead, what, we're not going to put that on, are we? Can't. I should have dinked it over, you know, everything right until the last moment. Should have dinked it over the keeper. Some quality there, some quality nah, indeed. No, that was good. A real good game for the neutral, this one. Uh, Infernos FC with their first three points in the league. It's good to see. So it's been well documented that GB Orange, they got pammed in week one. In week two, they come back firing. Week three, 
what are we hoping to see from GB Orange? I can't lie, that second week was impressive, you know, was, the actually. bounce back was on point. Um, obviously they got big characters on the side, expressions standing out a lot. Um, GB coming from RB, obviously that's down to him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang business. Name, trust um, me. But you know what, I wish them best until they face us. That's what it is, you know. That's got, all you can do. I've got a weekly show with Rant, so that's my guy. But until they face us, that's when we're the enemies. <laughs> Too right. Listen, uh, as Turkish just mentioned there, RB Orange, as they were known formerly, and now GB Orange, gang business, please. Uh, obviously, that's the Expressions influence creeping in there, who is now fully on board with the team. So that's going to be Expressions and Rants running it there. And Deadpool came out strong in week one with a 4-1 win. Uh, week two, they didn't play, so maybe some fresh legs. We'll see how this one goes, really. So what are you saying? Expression is just part of the team now, yeah? Yeah, he's, he's proper on it. Right, they need he's to, active he, in the group he, chat. He needs a trophy, doesn't he? So, he, you know, maybe that's why. Game two, <laughs> the Replay Me League weekly highlight show, aka Match of the Day for the Mandem, is coming up. Listen, here we go, game two to my left, X to my right, Rance. Now, Rance, uh, after a tough week one, you guys came out firing last week. Is it going to be the same this week? Yeah, I hope so. It's a different, it's a different team, in it? So I don't want to say it's going to be the same. I just expect three points. But in terms of the performance, another good performance. It's going to be a different game, different outfit, different thing to figure out, different team to figure out. They're a very different team by the looks of them. They look quite organised. Do you know what I mean? Decent technically on the ball from what I've seen, but... Do you know what I mean? I believe my boys are going to do what they need to do. X, after a big win last week, obviously you were gassed. Uh, you're, you're feeling your boys? Well, yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Obviously, I never came last week. I had a prior engagement and that, but the man them turned up, innit? Like, obviously, for me, I asked them this week, did they have stage fright the first week? Because they got touch blood. You know what I mean? When I turned up, we, we had smoke. I never turned up. Them man were on smoke. I'm here today and I'm hoping I'm not a bad luck charm fam. I'm telling you, bro. I told them I'll hide. I'll hide in the car, innit? As long as you get me three points. I've seen the other team. I'm not going to big up my chest. You get me double Ds and that and be like, oh, yeah, we're going to smoke them. We're going to do this. But to be honest, they look all right. But my boys are more than all right, you know, then we're there. We're exceptional, fam. We're half man, half amazing, you know what I mean? Genetically jacked, athletically stacked, just no blood. Jeez, fam, you know that, yeah? So, I want a good performance, blood. That's what I want, fam, yeah? GB Orange, gang business. Well, these interviews are so hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. We've heard from RB Orange. Now to my left, Max. To my right, Ellis from Deadpool London. Max, you guys came out and won in week one quite convincingly. Yeah, uh, good performance, to be fair. Um, I think not many people know about us. We've done well, stuck to our game plan, and then yeah, we're here to take part, and we just want to enjoy our football. But yeah, we're gonna we're a good team, very good team. Good team. And listen, you said not many people know about you guys, Deadpool London. Should they? They should, man. Uh, we play good football, move it around a lot. A lot of other teams they can't really play like us, so we're gonna stick to that. We can get physical as well, and we don't really feel the pressure like a lot of other teams. They're bringing fans along, trying to stick it on us, but. We'll do our thing, man. Expressions are oh, your bad luck, your bad luck, you man. I get Dutch blood, gang business, yeah. Louise, if you take a step to the right quick, sorry. Ah, oh, just as you took a picture, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs>
Don't tell him about that banging little bit of shit. I'm just so good for real, yeah? I first start good, good comeback, stay calm. That was, that was good, good half for us. We can play a lot better than that though, man. First, we pull it together in the last like 10, 15 of that game, playing some actual football on the floor. But apart from that, shaky, man. Like playing too many long balls. Everything needs to be on the floor. Ashley's getting man marked, so it's tough for him to come yeah. in for anything in the ball. He's getting man marked. But that means the rest of you, Luki, when you can fill into that hole with mm. him. If anything, if you're getting man marked, like I that, should drop push yeah, a bit yeah. higher, and then Luki can come into that Tell hole. Yeah. I just keep moving yeah. like that. Every, the second we got James on the ball and we and we stepped a bit higher, we just that last 20 minutes we just played 20 yards, 30 yards higher up the pitch, and it just changed the game instantly. Everyone oh, moved. That's the difference. We were playing so deep, we just everyone needs to make that whole step up. No, no, but also, a lot of times I'm just seeing it when it comes into Sam at right back. He's not got many options there. Like we have to play yeah, it down the line. If I go down the side, Callum or whoever's in the middle, there's a massive hole in the middle. The amount of times we've got it, and we and we look all right. I'm not gonna lie, boys. We're killing ourselves, bro. We're 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 so much better than these men. Not only should we not be behind, but they shouldn't even be in the game. Like it's not good enough. Like we're better than these men. In parts, we look good, but it doesn't matter. We're losing this football match and we shouldn't be losing this football match. They are not a good football team. The team we played last week were probably better than these men. And we put six past them. And we've conceded two goals here. I have no fucking idea how. No idea how. So I'm not saying we're if we keep defense. a clean sheet from the get-go, we win the game. We're one nil up. We're experienced players, bro. We are experienced players. Anthony, you need to open your mouth more, bruv, and communicate. When you get that ball, bruv, fucking you got a big kick on you, bruv. Why are we inviting pressure? There's no point. Let's get the ball. Long, the ball comes straight back. No, it don't, bro. It don't. I mean, no. Like, come on, man. It's been more time oh, defending than we do attacking. We can't play with a 50-50. We won it 100%, yeah? So sometimes, most of the time, I'll, cut, I'll, go, I'll drop back to, to, to pick up the ball. But he, everyone says, oh, just come back and then just kick it along. And then we don't win it. Hey, listen. You know the, bottom mean? Line, so hey, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, goals, fam, we need bro. fucking goals, innit? Man need goals. Man need In the final third, Cool, it's cool. it's not it's it's neat, but it's not clinical. Man need to get incisive with our passing. The final ball's always over here. That's that's the reason why we're not five six up. Sometimes because if we got the second goal before they got the equaliser, yeah, sure. would be four nil up. Now. Yeah, man, they need to start shooting. So as well, the attack needs to be more clinical. That's it. Bruv, go out there and win this game. You man are good enough. You man are good enough. You're better than them. Constructive criticism. That's it. You man, get your heads in it. Let's go. Go. Stop blaming everyone. Let's go win this game. Fucking 
Oh my god, Arian. Arian, oh, he's trying to play back to Luba. Oh, he's got big. It's Arian! Yarny commentary. Bits. Relief has given it the Zinedine Zidane, the classic. Oh. 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 How are they run on the pitch, by the way? <laughs> Right, before we get into any of this, we need to keep rants and expressions off the pitch. It's getting too every single goal on the pitch. What's going on? Security. We need security. Someone man. calls security on these men. <laughs> now, nah, it was a really good win for GB Orange there. Uh, and Dead Ball, unlucky there almost. Um, GB coming with the late winner. Um, they've looked impressive. That Possibly look like the best team in the league. I won't say that too soon. I won't say that too soon. But what I will say is they've... They've come on leaps and bounds from that first from week, week, you know. One. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you get a feel of the teams around, and that first week, obviously, Rance, I know, I know him, so I know how he would have reacted after that L, and looked to W since, and they're getting better and better performance-wise too, you know. At the end of the day, with the last what five minutes winner at the end, he could have done with a draw, you know. But it is what it is. Obviously, <laughs> it is what it is. At least one team took the L. Uh, listen, Rance just called himself the best gaffer in the league. I'm not gonna. Yeah, we, he called himself that before my first game. He, he chose see, the word I wisely. It. He I chose the word wisely. I wasn't in the league yet, but now I am. Ask him again. <laughs> right, listen. Uh, play of the game. Uh, we're actually going to go with the winner here, Khalifa. Check this out. Oh my days! The kid's got absolute feet. Right here we go. Look at this. Take this in Turkish. It's all going off down the left hand side. The ball comes in. Tech man. It's Khalifa, oh, the number nine. Khalifa fluffed it. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> oh, Too if much. If you're gonna win a game, you're gonna win it like that. Obviously, that. the keeper takes some blame. I wouldn't be happy with the keeper. He'll be getting a hairdryer treatment after the game. But what's a goal? You know, finish <laughs> composure. What more can you say? Too much. Bro. Get these man off the pitch. Petition has to start in the comments, please. <laughs> uh, listen, no, that was an incredible game too. Uh, possibly one of the best games we've seen uh, in the replay me league. But let me tell you now, the game we've got coming up next, game three is by far the best game we've seen in the league so far. It features Relentless FC, the man to my right's new team. Uh, like I said, he is the face, the gaffer. Uh, it's your first week in the league. Uh, you came up against Quarterback FC, a team that I've already played two games in this one. We might as well dive straight in. You come in, it's, it's sort of the first time you guys have been playing. Were you nervous? No, 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 not at all. Obviously, I've been coaching for the past year or so anyway. COVID messed it up a bit, but here we are back again. Um, new team, new faces. A bit of old faces in there too, but I'm excited much more than I am nervous. You yeah. know, 
the league's interesting, the, the, the characters are interesting. It's come on leaps and bounds um, from last season. So I'm looking forward to it all. Obviously, we've got our first fixture under the belt, um, Sunday just gone. We've got to build on it now. We've got to build on it. And it was a thriller. It was, it was a, a serious thriller. thriller. Listen, I told you, your boy Yarns, he don't lie. This is absolutely the best game of the season so far. Check this out. Game three. Quarterback FC versus Relentless FC. Come on. Run the tape. All right, here we go. Game three is about to start. Quarterback FC versus Relentless FC. Uh, I've got Specs to my left, Nash to my right. Specs, you've taken two L's now. You have to win this one. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I feel like the first game, we did come underprepared. Uh, the second game against Madness FC, we really should have won the game. We could have easily gone 3-0 up at half-time, but it's all shoulda, coulda, would us. The boys should have really taken their chances and it was a very harsh defeat. But yeah, we're ready today and we're ready to get off the mark. Is there something that uh, you and your coaching staff are, are going to change this week than from previous weeks, Naj? I think the second game we played, uh, there was a few spells that we should have finished our chances. I think we're growing into this. Today is a big game, must win. Um, speak to me after 90 minutes, I don't want to predict anything. Jeez. And then later on you hold me to it, innit? Jeez. Don't gas me up. Right, game three, Relentless FC are here and they're here to stay. Turkish, you're going to be heading up. Chief Football Operating Officer, Director of Football, whatever you want to call it. Relentless FC, you're excited to be in the league? Definitely, man, definitely. A long time coming, it feels. What, three weeks in our first game, you know, the other teams had a little head start on us. But it is what it is, man. It's a work in progress. We had to get it all together. Like you said, I'm director, CEO, or whatever you like to call it. <laughs> but I brought in a coach. Um, that was one of my problems last season. It's hard to do all alone, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, this Sunday league thing ain't easy. But I brought in a coach, very experienced, um, and a good young team. But like I said, it's a work in progress. So I'm, I'm excited to see the development over the next few weeks and months ahead. It will go. You'll notice Relentless FC also playing in red. We are Turkish also in the... The Turkish red, it all makes sense. It makes sense, bro. It makes so sense. You gotta much represent, sense. man. You gotta represent. <laughs> talking about come on yeah i love it i love it yeah easy we're level right now yeah <laughs> we're level right now you just said easy but we're level right now easy but we're level <laughs> <laughs> light goal man it was an accidental goal wasn't it they didn't mean that they didn't mean that Nothing for the for the fans of touches getting fucking penalties. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Touch, so it's bullshit, bro. Yeah, so yeah. In the last 15 minutes, certainly up until the 20 minutes, right? I want you lot to continue like that because we will win the game, I'm telling you right now. You don't hear me say this every game. We will win the game, 100%. The boys, the other team, their backline's nervous. They're taking throws, they're playing it backwards all the time. 
They've got one good defender. Right? They're captain. Of course, he's not even that. He's not even that. And he's the best one that says that. Just know that he's got confidence now. He's going to keep trying. So now just jockey and nick it. Yeah, of course. He's doing it in his own box. Also, get in between him and the six. You'll beat them both for pace. Honestly, I'll try to find you. Same with Nick. I keep when Nick and Chris keep up shots. Luke, you try to get a few shots in. And my eights. You know, I've done it a few times, yeah? Keep popping shots. Try and punch that ball in behind because there's a lot of space in between their full backs and their centre half. Try and punch it in. We're gonna jump to a flat, we're gonna jump to a flat four across the back. The reason being in the middle, that's where we're losing the game. You understand me? Because they're coming through the middle, they're making a neat little plays, they're picking up number eleven. He's their danger man, he's their out man, and nobody's picking him up. You understand me? The guy is skillful and the guy is powerful. They can yeah. do the simple stuff, play the ball, let the ball do the work. Or pass the movement. I don't look. When you want to do the skills, drop it in that area. Then if they take you down, man, we take a pen. And listen, Let's you play. might have to be quiet, man. Yeah, exactly. You man told me you know each other, fam. I Show that you know each other. Do you get it? They're quiet too, but you man can own the second half. Start talking, start yeah, shouting. Let's go, boys. Listen, go, boys. if a player goes out, another one covers his face. Right. Look All right. Let's go. Camera as well, boss, 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 excuse us. Sorry, man, thank you. Of a round there. Boom. Oh, he wound up for it. Just shoot.
Are you mad? Game of the season so far. Goals. Look at this guy. <laughs> Beaming. Uh, red cards. Pe too many penalties. Um, really exciting viewing. Uh, and Turkish, your team has come into the league and got off to a flying start, a win. Yeah, mad, mad, mad. Goals, penalties, red card, everything. And you know what? The most important thing is the three points. It is. I can't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Performance, attacking wise, very happy. Very happy. A lot of those players are new to me. Obviously, you saw the head coach I'm working with, Mike. Um, he's doing his job on the scouting side. Yeah. Look at Kwan, for example. Yeah, you know? absolutely. We'll talk about Kwan, actually. We might as well. Uh, the man of the match and was tearing it up all game. Uh, just possibly one of the best players in the league already, just from the eye test. Yeah, you can see it already. You know, on the ball, he's something else. Confident, he can take a man on, drive, passion, and he can finish. Mm. You know, complete winger. But I might utilise him in a few other positions. If yeah. Let's we'll see how it goes. Please. Listen, uh, lots going on, of course, in this game. Quarterback yet to pick up a point, so uh, hopefully they'll be able to sort that one out. Maybe even go on a cup run. We'll see how it goes. Listen, ladies and gents, this is the Replay Me League weekly highlight show. That's game three done and dusted. I told you it was the best game of the season so far. And yarns don't lie. It's been an absolute pleasure having you guys with us. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, and next week, of course, join us. It's Cup Week. I just mentioned there, if you can't pick up points in the league, go on a cup run. You know what it is right now. Um, make sure, of course, to subscribe to the channel uh, as we're wrapping up here. We might as well take a quick look at the league table. Here we go. Keeping it fresh at the top, even though they didn't play in game week three, Madness FC are at the top. Two games played, plus seven goal difference and six points. GB Orange, I mention all the time because it just is quite funny. They got slapped in the first week, but I brought it back with six points now. Three games played there. Dead Ball London uh, and everyone else there with three points, uh, including Inferno's quarterback, the only team not to register any points so far. Infernos will be very happy with that, even though they're on a minus eight goal difference. Uh, yeah, getting pammed will do that to you. You know what it is right now. So yeah, that's all we've got time for. Join us next week. Uh, cheeky little cup run. Who's going on one? We'll find out uh, and make sure, obviously, to like our social channels and subscribe to the channel once again. The road to 10K starts now. My brother, Come on, bro. Turkish love, coming on. Love, a football love, connoisseur. Love. You can't hear this kind of football genius anywhere else. Uh, please subscribe to his channel, of course, Turkish London on YouTube. Uh, and as far as it goes from my end, I'm pretty much done. We can just cut the camera right here.